I'm Evo Taz, and yeah, I'm gonna go over my Kate Bishop build, finally, I guess. <laughs> I know I've been push putting it off a bit, I mean, I, di I didn't really know what I wanted to play with her, because, I mean, the gear that I've got for her is actually pretty good. Um, it's all, it all synergizes quite well, and she does her thing. Acts quite a punch my build and I'll go over the build as well but we're going to do the first two levels of the mega hive um, I, I do like to do all four levels in one video but because I'm doing a build video I figured you know what I'll split it up this time and uh, we'll take it from there but anyway here are my stats so I mean I I not a melee Kate um, those of you that are props to you I didn't like her melee abilities I think she was more of a range character um, so we were trying to pump up her precision. Just the the roll on the stats on the gear pieces were really poor for me. I don't know. I don't know if you guys got any better chance. I, I think I've seen a couple of screenshots with people having much higher precision. And, you know, that's awesome. But I, I just can't get it to go that high. I don't know. But we'll go through my gear afterwards and I'll show you what I'm rocking and why I'm doing that. And then we'll go through... Uh, a little bit of gameplay afterwards so yeah running uh, 224 precision so trying to get that precision higher as much as we can that's where the majority of our ability well damage comes from our heroics don't do the big damage so I'm not really too focused on valor that much but it's not too bad where it's at uh, we're running 103 proficiency to get our crit chance up and our perk chance up as well um, you know, every time our perks proc, and you'll see what perks I'm running as well, um, it gives us huge bonuses on our damage, and that crit chance is just, you know, giving us more chance to do that high damage anyway. Um, the Valor number is mostly there for that critical damage. I wish it was a little higher, but again, it all comes down to your luck of the draw with the, uh, with the rolls and the gear that you get, and right now, Trying to find the specific gear pieces with the specific perks and the specific stats. Yeah, next to near impossible, guys. Next to near impossible. Unless you're super hardcore and dedicated to gearing out one player and playing that one person legit. I should put in quotes, legit. Um, it's going to take you weeks upon months upon many months for sure to get the perfect piece. Um, and I say that because uh, I... I found, uh, what is it, the um, the chest piece for my Hawkeye, uh, Clint Barton. I found the chest piece. It took me nine runs of the uh, priority rush, which was where the priority mission gave a reward daily. So it took me nine tries, nine days to get the chest piece. So now put that into perspective. Typically, the priority mission runs weekly. So that would mean that it would typically would have taken me nine weeks of trying to get that chess piece. One character. One character. That in itself is ridiculous, right? But then hear this. The minute you save scum, you change that nine weeks into three to four hours. How enticing is that? Like, they've got to realize that save scumming is a problem for the game and They've also got to realize the drop rates and the quality of the loot is a problem for the game. And that's what they need to focus on and fix, for sure. Um, the fact that what would have normally, normally would have taken me nine weeks of farming, I could do in three to four hours. Yeah, I mean, come on, Crystal Dynamics. If you can't think about that now, you know. Put it in your minds because people are safe scumming and playing the crap out of the games to get the, the best builds they can. And then those of us that are left behind that are trying to play the game legit are getting screwed because we can't. And we're not getting lucky with the rolls and we've got no way of fixing those items that we get. Give us a recalibration or something. But anyway, here's my gear. Sorry about the rant. I, I, I needed to get it off my chest because it was, uh, it is a frustrating thing. It's a frustrating topic. And I know a lot of people have quit. There's a lot of people that love the game and, and defend the game and, and are on the side. And I'm all for that. But they're also the people that do the saves coming and cheat their way through to getting the best gear in the game. So, yeah. I mean, take it however you want, right? So, 
in gear slot one we're running the hive mind edge uh the only good thing on here is the random stats that give us a little bit more proficiency and intensity uh resilience gives us that defense um i wish i could have gotten a precision roll on here but again luck of the draw right we're running a shock hive mind's edge so the main thing here is power attacks Inflict Shock and the Lightning Potentiator. So, hang on a second, I gotta take a little sip of water. So the, uh, the big thing here is the main attack. When you wanna do big damage with Kate, it's not about the spread shot, not about the split shot or whatever the hell you wanna call it. It's about pressing and holding triangle three times and she does a little backflip, but she implants a bomb on the enemy. Those bombs are all shock. So you can basically implant four shock grenades in the enemy. Now, whenever you detonate those grenades or bombs, they do this shock damage. So it does a huge amount of shock damage. Now, this is where the battery effect comes in. So you implant all those bombs, you're doing huge power damage and you're hitting them with shock you hit them with a scatter shot that does positive. And that's where my arrow comes in. Now this arrow is pretty good. Like actually really good, I would say. Uh, precision, proficiency. Wish it was precision and resolve or something to get my health up a little bit. But again, with Kate, I'm not too worried about too much on the defense. Um, I mean, we are rocking just under 15k life. I wish it was at 15k, but yeah, armor's a little low as well, but what can you do, right? Anyway, power attacks grant damage buff. So every time I press and hold triangle, um, that's a power attack and it has a chance to give me a damage buff. So every time I'm trying to stack this shock damage up with the grenades, I'm getting a chance to stack a, a damage buff on. When I hit that damage buff, um, it's basically giving me the chance to hit a battery effect. So the enemy has four grenades on them, and the only way to detonate them is either through a melee attack or through hitting those grenades with another attack. And I do that by triggering it with my scatter shot. So my scatter shot hits them with plasma, which automatically hits them with a battery effect. And then whenever enemies get defeated, it gives me an intrinsic burst, so I have my intrinsic back. I kind of wish this was more of a heroic burst, because I do like having um, singularity up quite often. But, I mean, intrinsic and a damage buff on one piece, with a scatter shot, it's, it's very rare. I'm not going to lie. That is very rare to get, especially with precision on it. And those three, well, actually, those four things... Are very rare to get so I'm pretty happy with my arrow I've had this arrow for a really long time so don't ask me where I got it I just I literally don't remember <laughs> um but uh yeah then we're running the hive mind bodysuit the big thing here is the high precision stat and the high valor uh perfect evading gives us Jarvis barrier which I rarely evade um sometimes I'll hit it by accident but yeah doing a perfect evade yeah not not really my thing. I'm I'm more of dodging out of the way and uh, attacking quicker and such. But anyway, I wish I could uh, do the parries a little more because they take uh, more damage from any attack. But just something I gotta kind of figure out how to get it in my in my gameplay. But it's not something that I actively do right now. Realm of the Storm in the fourth slot. Basically, again, further enhancing our shock damage from our power attacks. So we got the, the shock potentiator. Plus, uh, when defeating enemies, we get a chance of getting a tachyon surge. So, you know, by this and this, we've got a tachyon surge and a damage buff up all the time. And pretty much got a high chance of getting full intrinsic meter back as well. So it's... It's like everything synergizes really well here, as you can tell. So it's very little area of improvement. Um, I think this is an older piece, though. So the only positive I could get is this and this from the Mega Hive with higher stats. 
the chance of getting these specific pipes with those specific stats, I don't know, y y your guess is as good as mine. If I get it today, I get it today. If I not, then maybe tomorrow or a week or a month or half a year. Who knows, right? Anyway, in the artifacts, we're running triple resolve just to get our defense up. Again, triple resolve and we're only at 14.8. Still a little low. I would love to swap that out for a triple precision. I do have one right there. And if I put that in, our defense goes really low, 10k, right? It, it, very hard to swap that in, unfortunately. So I like staying at that 15k mark with all my characters. So I'm, I got to stick with the triple resolve for now. Um, in the second slot, also on the um, on the perks, not really benefiting too much of any of these perks other than the heroic support. That's the one with the clone. Um, and then in the other ISO slot, we're running double precision. But the big thing here is, I mean, I could sw switch over to this to get a 1% increase in precision. But it's that perk that I'm looking at. Increased damage from power attacks. So because I'm doing shark, I'm doing shark and power attacks. And power attacks give me a damage buff. I'm, I'm doing power attacks all the time. So that 11, well, pretty much 12% uh, increased damage from power attacks is boosting the damage that I'm doing when I'm doing my hold down triangle attack so yeah eight plays exactly like clint barton for me you press and hold triangle and you just keep doing it with with clint though you press and hold triangle a few times and you tap through it to do bag of tricks with kate you press and hold triangle and do it a few times to apply your grenades as soon as you do the last flip uh you fire a scatter shot and it detonates the grenades uh running tacticon uh, of course, because of the elemental damage that we're applying, but Kate's big thing, especially for group play, is applying scattershot element. Uh, we can apply plasma damage to a lot of enemies in quick succession and fill up their bar very quickly, which helps out the whole team. Let's switch over to the skills. So for the skills, uh, in the support, it's all about singularity, but actually not in the support, sorry. Um, the support is all about the after image, and when you switch with the uh, with your clone, you get a, a willpower burst. So that's our only real way of healing with Kate. So you cast the uh, the clone, and then when you press L1 again, you kind of swap between your clone and you get a willpower burst that's our only way of getting a healing going on on kate it's um it can be very rough especially if you need a, a bad heal and there's no heal parts or anything or you take a lot of damage but that's where your teammates come into play right <laughs> um and then with the with the second ability on the support the decoy, whenever the decoy does damage, it will defeat um, enemies uh, to give us regen packs. So again, we have a small way of getting health back. So we want to get health in whatever way we can. So we can swap between the decoy or we can get kills with the decoy to get health. Uh, the Assault Heroic. So this one, this is very difficult to swap away from. Singularity is so good. So good because all you do is you pop singularity throw your grenades in there with your power attacks um, do a, uh, a split shot arrow or even when the uh, singularity ends it does a little explosion um, it detonates all your grenades and all these enemies that are pulled into that one area will just explode um, and this one just gives us an extra charge of singularity which is huge. If I could get another singularity charge, I would, but so my, my gear, I have very limited um, parts that I can swap gear out, unless it's an improvement on what I currently got. Um, the Ultima Heroic is one of my pet peeves with Kate. Garbage. Um, it, it's lackluster. It's weak. 
it doesn't feel like a, an ultimate. Uh, this quantum pose, it's yeah, it. I don't know. I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I, I used it before because I didn't like her ultimate anyway, but I wouldn't even bother with it. The uh, the sword pulse thing, it's it's a melee attack, I would say, and I think it benefits off of melee attacks. Again, I'm not melee focused, so I don't know, but let me let me know if you spec into Quantum Side, uh, and if it does benefit off of uh, your melee uh, status, the stat number. Uh, but I'm running Quantum Storm just because it breaks guard. It's I don't know. Because that quantum detonations, if I've got bolts already in an enemy, um, it attacks fast. And yeah. I wish it would apply a status by default, but it doesn't. And then damage from quantum and energy infused attacks is increased by 10% while overdrive is active. So because we've got our intrinsic burst, uh, whenever we kill enemies, uh, we can get into intrinsic override pretty quick. Hmm. I mean, I could switch this for willpower regen, but the two that I've got, you know, regenerating uh, health orbs and stuff, it's it's good enough. Uh, for the masteries, we are running shot taker, decrease the impact of energy attacks. Uh, reduce the chance of being interrupted. We don't do sprint attacks. We don't really juggle that much. It's all about that split shot and that power attack, really. Um, don't really do demolition charge, but uh, whenever we do, well, have it there. Don't really do any combos. And that's the thing, right? It's like we're very limited with the uh, with the masteries, especially in the melee area. Takedowns very limited again. If I see a takedown opportunity, I will take it, especially if I need to get a heroic orb for it. But yeah, the big thing on the ranged is buffing all our scatter shot because that's what we are primarily using. Uh, reduce the spread so we can focus in more of a narrower range. Uh, we got sure shot, increase the damage of scatter shot by 5% for each, uh, each mark on the target. So that's when you press and hold and you kind of target lock I think you can target lock up to five times on a single enemy um, and it does like a lot of damage especially good for a single target and focus target your uh, scatter shot then we've got archer's prowess uh, where we're ready and fire two additional arrows when using scatter shot so it's like Hawkeye's chest that gives us an extra two arrows on his um, bag of tricks for the intrinsic we're just using um, Anything that increases the attack chance of light and heavy. Uh, let's see what this is. Reduce the maximum amount of intrinsic held in there. Uh, reduce the amount of intrinsic. No, I don't really use the the blink that much. I used to use it a lot when uh, the chest piece was bugged and it was actually allowing you to blink across the whole map, but not anymore. Increase the damage of all intrinsic attacks by 20%. It's just more damage. Um, Quantum Fortitude increases stun damage of intrinsic light and heavy attacks by 25%. Again, it's just it's just there just to get the stun in place. And yeah, I don't really melee attack that much. That's where a lot of those combo attacks come from. Uh, intrinsic Overcharge, when you defeat enemies while overcharged, it adds to the buff of being overcharged. So it just keeps overcharge status up longer. Um, increase the amount of overcharge meter gain from ranged critical attacks mm -hmm. 5% so because we're all ranged um, we just benefit from this completely and the last one is ranged attack damage is increased by 10% while overcharged so we get 10% increased attack damage when we're in that overcharge state it's, it's just a another damage boost right? like some of these skills are just kind of a given just because of the uh, the benefit they give us right anyway uh, give me a second. Oh, geez. I spoke for 20 minutes on this. Well, I must have ranted for a little bit. My apologies, but we'll be back with the Mega Hive. So, we're 20 minutes into this, and we're going to get started on Heroic Gauntlet 1. And I'm going to try and get the second one done in this as well. I just thought I would kind of bring up the screen just to 
sure what's going in there, but give me a second to get a group, and we're gonna do the first two levels with Kate. Don't know if I'm gonna finish it with Kate. Maybe I'll upload this video and then see what kind of feedback I get. If you want to see me finish it with Kate or a different character, let me know. Leave a comment, and uh, yeah, I'll I'll take a look and see uh, about maybe finishing off three and four on Sunday or possibly Monday. I mean, there's no hurry. We don't really have a lot to do. Other than the uh, the flashback missions, which don't really need a lot of yellow gear for. Anyway, wow, this group is filling up really quick. All right, we'll be right back. So I'm not sure if we're gonna get a fourth, but I initiated the uh, the mission launch just because three is good enough. Only Mega Hive on challenge two can't change the challenge. Pretty good. I mean, with a uh, Hulk and uh, Black Panther, we should be pretty good. The Black Panther's a little low, but... This will be a rewarding but grueling mission. All our efforts against AIM have led us to this point. Our best chance for success will be to have Avengers ready to step in should a teammate become incapacitated. So, I'm in no ways a melee Kate. I'm all about the ranged power attacks by holding down triangle and pressing triangle a couple times as soon as she does the backflip um, hit the scatter shot or before she does the, the backflip hit the scatter shot the eat up the animation just depends on who I'm fighting uh, sometimes I'll avoid the last one just because the, the backflip has a longer animation on it and I want to trigger my explosion before so sometimes when I pop singularity I'll do three of them and then I'll attack with a scatter shirt for the location on your heart there we go scatter shots active these enemies must be defeated Get ready. Nice thing about ranged enemies, it's easier to kill as a ranged. As I say, as I completely miss every enemy possible. But Kate really uh, excels when there's a lot of enemies. Like this. I was getting my, uh, my grenades planted with my power attack. Unfortunately, I killed them all before. And for my next trick. Yeah, and killed them all before, so yeah. I'm trying to show you guys after when they explode, but how's my team? Here they are, finally. Staying out of the range of those lasers. The enemies have been defeated. Oh, just so you can see my stats. With the power buff up, 2800. Yeah. I just won one of these guys was Hawkeye, but alright. Maybe he switched last minute. Months to get a high five down. I should have known a soft handshake would come with its own danger.
Anyway, long elevator ride. Yeah, the big thing is when you have a group, you pop singularity, pop your grenades, and you explode your grenades with your uh, spread shot. Or they explode anyway. With the explosion from the uh, singularity. Nice thing about Kate is you can just stand there, keep everything away from you because of the big damage that you do. Or the big arc of damage that you do. The enemies are all spread out. These enemies must be defeated. That time I was able to do three grenades. I triggered the uh, explosion early. Like I said, pretty optimal. We're getting damage buff all the time. We're getting intrinsic buff quite a lot. The enemies have been defeated. Don't really have to use any ability other than singularity. It's really strong. That's her only, and unfortunately in the assault heroic, that's the only thing that you really need to equip. Super strong. Anyway, there's been a lot of Kate hate in the game, saying that she's not strong. She's pretty strong, it just depends how you build her. Every member of the elite team must be defeated. the status. I'm hitting him with one status. There's gotta be a bug with the status. It's like they have a full status bar. But then it just starts depleting. I don't understand why the um, the status bar should start depleting when you have a full bar of status up. It, it doesn't make sense. I mean, it, to me, when you hit that max on level, the, the more status damage you do, the more it should just keep it max. I am curious if that's a bug or if that's known way of it 
actually working, but it doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand why there's a depletion on it. Like, is it diminishing returns? Is that the way it works? Destroy the aim power cores. Use the terminal. I'll get you past security. No idea where my teammates are, but I guess they don't want to go into the next area. Why? Wasn't that weird? I was on the marker, it should have teleported me, but I guess it didn't want to. Because there's no bugs in this game. Destroy all the power cores. on your heart. Sometimes you want to sprint after an attack, she can sprint.
Damn it. Waste my singularity. Let me get my uh, grenades going. Did someone die? I think the Hulk died. Switched over to uh, Thor, it looks like. The enemies have been defeated. Was it my fault? I got no heals. Well, no player heals. I can self-heal by doing my switch between my clone, but I don't do it very often. The problem with Hulk is everyone goes DPS with him, and the thing is, you don't need to. Better to burn him for Resolver and Zillions, actually. is close by and on alert. Updating your HUD. Yeah, I can apply plasma damage to a lot of enemies at once. That's where Kate's got her advantage. And mine is applying positive status. is if you don't focus fire you're not gonna get that turret I did no damage to that guy Last one, it's the big drone thing. The team are no longer a threat. Oh. Honestly, thought that was the last one. Ooh, nice. I was in the mood to hit something. Yeah, Kate's really good at applying statuses to a lot of enemies quickly. I wish I would have gotten a vibranium arrow for her to do that with. But yeah, trying to replace my damage and intrinsic burst with precision on it. Head for the location on yeah, your it's, I mean that's going to require a lot of farming.
And the problem is, the game only promotes you farming one character at a time. We are not alone. These enemies must be defeated. GG's. So there's my cape build, guys. What do you think? Let me know. We'll do another heroic gauntlet with her, but, uh... Yeah, we're kind of getting strapped on time. I don't know. Maybe one more. Actually, if I, if I want to get this up tonight, I probably should stop here and Excellent do two, work. three, and four You've in the next one. To aim. You're not finished yet. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. End it here, and break down the stuff. Finzig and damage, Scattershot does plasma. I mean, that's the opposite way of what I've got right now. Well, I'll keep that. Yeah, thank you for watching. And what are what objectives that we got? Nothing new. Yeah, we'll carry on with the Gauntlet of Heroes over this uh, this weekend, I think. One skill point. What am I looking for here? Let's open that. In. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.